research team from Mount Sinai has discovered a new way to help stop the spread of amyloid plaque in the brain, which is thought to be a leading cause of cognition loss from Alzheimer's disease. Close to 7 million Americans live with Alzheimer's right now, with that number expected to rise to 13 million by 2050 as our population ages. But while this experimental approach looks promising when studied in mice, will it work in people? Health Central reporter Michelle G. Sullivan spoke with Mount Sinai's Roland Friedel, a neuroscientist who explained how the brain's patrol system of special guardian cells team up to kill perceived threats like microorganisms. But when that threat is constant, like amyloid is, the patrol can become overactivated, unable to destroy it quickly like it would, say, a pathogen, these cells keep calling for reinforcements, which in turn create a halo-like barrier around the amyloid that the patrol can't penetrate, causing chronic neuroinflammation, permanent damage, and eventually Alzheimer's disease. In a new study published in Nature Neuroscience, Friedel and his research team found that by blocking specific receptors that set off this reaction, the resulting barrier that did form was about 50% smaller and easier to penetrate, allowing the brain's patrol to break up the amyloid and shut down an inflammatory response. The biotech company Vaxinex tested this approach, giving an experimental antibody treatment to 50 people with both mild cognitive impairment and more advanced Alzheimer's. Those who took the treatment showed more cognitive improvement than placebo. Still, it's early days. Whether or not this approach will be successful in large clinical trials remains to be seen. But for families with loved ones who have Alzheimer's, the findings do offer a bit of hope. Read the full story and unpack the science at the link in our bio.